Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa and in today's video, I'm going to be laying out and decorating my monthly goal spread for the month of March. So if that interests you, keep on watching. So in today's video with setting up my monthly goal spread for March, I'm going to be pulling uh, stickers basically from the Plant Mama Happy Planner sticker book. And I'm also going to be using the Deco Journal MK-132 from the Sarah Marie Stickers Etsy shop. And as always, I will have links down below. If I find these products you know, available to purchase anywhere, they will be listed and linked down below in my description box. And if you have any questions or regarding any kind of products that I highlight or showcase or use in any of my spreads or plannery, planning systems and everything like that, you will always find that information down in the description box below. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment um, and leave it for me. I'm really good about responding. So I'd be happy to, you know, follow up with you and get to know you more. And then with that being said, I, like I normally do and everything, I went ahead and I pulled some stickers that I thought I was going to be using in this monthly goal spread. And I put it in my Sarah Marie Stickers reusable sticker book. So I have those already placed. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm just gonna kind of be, um, some of the things I'm going to stay consistent with how I've been setting up my goal spreads and everything like that, but pulling in some other, you know, holiday or color related kind of, you know, color themes and everything into, into it and everything. So let's get started with putting this together, shall we? So I'm going to be starting off with my deco journal. And I'm also going to be um, going to start off with lighting this out first and foremost. And I'm going to, I figured I was going to kind of do like, you know, a little bit of lucky St. Patrick, you know, clover kind of theme and everything, but also kind of just not going overboard with it, you know. Now, uh, more or less just kind of going off like the green um, color theme and everything um, just because I absolutely love green. It is my favorite color. Ooh. So I wanted to pull in that color element into my monthly goal spread uh, for March since, you know, St. Patrick's Day is on the 17th. And then just kind of go with it because I just didn't really feel like having clovers and everything like that kind of everywhere. So, yeah, I just didn't really care for it. So, and then I'm also going to white out this, jot it down. And speaking of St. Patrick's Day, any guys have any, do any of you have any plans for, you know, celebrating it with any friends or family? or, you know, kind of staying close to home or heading out for it, comment down below, share with the group. I'd love to hear what kind of plans you guys are making and having and everything for the upcoming St. Patrick's Day. And I'm super excited that spring is right around the corner for us. So yeah, I'm just so excited to be getting out of this <laughs> kind of like, um, what do you want to call it? Winter blues, I guess. <laughs> is what I want to say. All right, and then I'm going to place this sticker right up here. Right. I'm liking these, the colors and the, the feel and everything, so. And then I think I'm going to just start off with putting in my boxes here or to get going for um, the habits and everything. So I'm just going to kind of feel it out. I'm trying to place kind of in the middle ish area and then just laying them down. Nothing too fancy, nothing too crazy. I like to have my monthly goal spread be functional first and foremost for me. So that is the most important factor for me when I'm planning is the functionality. 
and then having fun, of course, with, you know, pops of color. Everything helps, too. Okay, and then over here, I'm going to white out. Let's check it off. And I'm going to white out this note to self right here. How has your planning systems been going, guys? Have you been sticking to your plans and everything? Or have you been finding that you've kind of gone a little off kilter with some and everything? Do you have any questions or anything that you found that's helpful, that's worked for you? You know, feel free to share with the group here. I know we would all appreciate getting some great feedback and, you know, just kind of sharing to see like what, what's been working for everyone because Maybe something that's been working for you might help somebody else, you know? That's why I like, you know, sharing a bit of how I plan and everything, because sometimes it's just, you know, nice to kind of share that with others and kind of helps everybody out. All right. That's really pretty. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to, I think in this bottom corner here, I'm going to pull in this sticker here from the Plant Mama. It's just really cute and pretty. And I can't get enough of green <laughs> because my absolute favorite, favorite color. What can I say? Okay, so I'm going to come over here now. And I think I'm going to start off by pulling this extra little flag thing, the plaid. I really like those plaid colors and everything for it. And I'm gonna just put this like so. And then I'm gonna take, I think, this box here. And I'm just gonna put it right here. Then I'm gonna put my other you know, corner sticker there, right up here at the top. Line it along those dotted lines and with the top of the page. And just lay it on down. <laughs> okay. And then I've really been enjoying these deco journal boxes and everything from this deco journal deco journal add-on kits um, from Sarah Marie. They've really been working very well for me in setting up with um, how I just want to you know, keep track of things or list anything. So it's been working out really, really well. And I just now realized I'm going to need more boxes. That is okay. We're going to work on it. I'm going to find another sticker here in just a minute, but now I'm going to keep moving along with what I have going. And this, I'm just going to overlap just slightly with that in the very edge of that box. And I think... No, I was kind of thinking about doing something. Okay, hold on. Let me. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to take this hanging plant, but. You know, guys, I need to pull up just a little bit, <laughs> so hopefully it won't be causing too much of an issue, but it's going to be a little tricky here, so bear with me. I have to be real careful here. All right. And then how I wanted to do this... I want to lay it down in such a fashion. Yeah, right there. 
perfect. Okay. And then we can lay these back down. Yeah. Oh, I like that. It looks really cute. Okay. Well, I know I say cute a lot, but okay. I think things are cute. Okay. And then moving along, I'm going to place down the deco journal box here that I like to use for um, stating what my favorite book of the month was that I read. I'm just going to kind of eyeball lay down like so. And I'm going to use this bubble box here. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put it here instead, just for something a little different, I think, this time. Slightly. And then to be putting in my top priorities and I think I'm going to just keep it real simple by keeping the top priorities there and then just laying down these boxes. Now, I'm not going to get too crazy with it. Um, I will add a little bit of something here in just a minute. I just wanted to for the most part keep it pretty I'm minimalistic with these boxes here. Okay. And then over here, I'm going to go in. Let's see where we're at here so far. I really kind of wanted to pull in this plant. And I'm thinking. really wanted, I really like this sticker here from Plant Mama. Home is not a place, it's a feeling. I could not agree more. So with that, I'm going to put down here at the bottom. I'm not going to white out or anything, I think it'll be fine. But I am going to just line it up here. This, the bottom line of those line section here. There we go. Yeah. That looks really cute and nice. And then I think I'm gonna pull in something for that, but I'm not a hundred percent sure yet what exactly I wanna kind of do, but I am going to use this little pencil thing. So I'm going to pull from my skinny washi and this is part of the green hues skinny washi tape from the happy planner so if it's still available I will have it listed down below and what I'm going to do is I am going to 
line right here to kind of separate these sections from one another. So I'm going to Let's see if I can just peel this up just a tad. Okay. Just kind of sneak that edging of the washi underneath it. And then I'll get out over it. Okay. And then just kind of repeat the process for these next sections. across here kind of in the middle ish and take it across and then I'm going to peel this just a tad I think Actually, no, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Let's kind of put it right here. Take it across. Okay. Yeah, I really like how that's separating those sections there. And then what I was thinking is I'm going to take this along here. Right up to the top there. that green <laughs> since I love it so much <laughs> okay and that's how we're looking so far guys what do we think we're loving it we're feeling it <laughs> okay and then I'm gonna also I'm also gonna take it right in between these One of the things that I really love about skinny washi tape is the versatility in which I can really use it, you know? I feel like I have more control over it than, you know, a regular kind of washi, and it just seems to work quite well. And I know you're thinking, wow, Melissa, this is being kind of excessive. You wouldn't be wrong, but <laughs> I like what I like, so 
just kind of giving you some ideas as to how you can also be using your washi strip, you know, kind of stuff. All right. So let's take a look here where we're at. This looks gorgeous, guys. All right. So yes, I do need to pull in a couple things, a couple things here. So let me just take a look going through our Plant Mama book. And I'm gonna just kind of flip through to where I saw those boxes. Yep. And I do have a little bit of blue, so I'm gonna use that to pull in. Okay. And I am going to put this one here. And just put this part out. Okay. Just kind of. Place it like so. Okay. I know you can still see the flag there, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, and then. I want something there. I'm not 100% sure, and I definitely want another little box. So, let's see. about maybe using something a little simpler. Let's see where my, my thought process is here. Oop, I'm getting stuck here. All right, so I'm kind of thinking Shake is what I'm thinking here. I'm kind of thinking of using this hank in there. Ooh, grow girl. <laughs> I kind of like that. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go with the you grow girl, but I still need a little box. I think I'm going to use. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use this green one. out a little far and everything there but that's all right and I think I want to pull this pencil sticker up reposition replace over here there we go okay now I'm gonna go back to you grow girl <laughs> Maybe I don't want to use that one. Sorry, very indecisive here at the moment. All right. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm going to do this Love Grows Here one instead. sure I have all the boxes everywhere that I need. Okay. And then, last but not least, I'm going to get this other beautiful hanging plant. And I'm going to kind of 
I like a bat with it. Actually, no, I'm just gonna. Alright, I'm gonna go like this. Right, and plan's gonna go over there. <laughs> this sticker up just a little bit so I can lay this at the top and line it with the edge of that grid box and then lay that over just that edge there and then I'll take my hanging plant and I'm gonna line it up to where it's kind of hanging from this skinny washi Just like so. I do have like a little smidge there. So I'm just gonna kinda see if I can trim that out really easily here. Okay. Okay, what do we think guys? That is pretty much everything that I'm going to be putting together with my monthly spread. So yeah, I absolutely love it. I love the green. Green would be my favorite color. I like the pops of the clovers for St. Patrick's Day kind of thing, but not going too overboard with, you know, saying St. Patrick's Day everywhere. And I like the plaid touches of the flag. So yeah, I think it came together really, really nicely. So let's go ahead and pop in the Franken planner, guys. Okay. Oh yeah, I love the way this looks, guys, and everything. I love the green. Green is definitely my favorite color, and it also is my happy, happy color and everything. Oh, and I did um, use one of my leftover little pencil um, doodles from my previous um, deco journal add-on from Sarah Marie Stickers, and I just placed it there. And yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. So this is my monthly goal spread for March of 2023. It's in my catch-all, which I use the Celestial 2023 Classic Happy Planner for my catch-all. And that's how we're going to leave it here. So thank you so much for joining me, guys. If you've liked this video, please remember to hit the thumbs up. It really does help my channel to grow and everything with the YouTube algorithm. And if you have any questions and everything like that, you know, leave a comment down below. And as always, subscribe to the channel for future you know, videos and everything to hit your inbox and turn that bell notification on so you're notified of them. And thank you so much again for joining me today. Take care of yourselves, be kind, spread some love, and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one.